Hi again guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do the 3x3x4 three by three by um, This is the cube for you version, it's a great puzzle this If you're going to get a 3x3x4, three three if you don't already I definitely recommend getting this proportional one rather than this cubic version The turning quality on this cubic version is absolutely awful whereas the proportional one is superb So, definitely get that so yeah, let's dive right into this. Um, hopefully you should already know how to solve um, the domino cube because you're going to basically use the same algorithms to solve this. Um, the strategy we employ when solving this is basically we solve it like two separate domino cubes. Um, there are a couple of little extra things that crop up so we'll deal with those when we come to them. And yeah, so obviously make sure you give it a really good scramble before you start. You don't want to make things too easy for yourself. And that should about do it, I think. Right, so what we do is we start off, we solve the centre two layers as if they were a domino by themselves. We completely ignore the upper and lower layer. Um, what we need to do, first of all, is sort out which colours go where. Now, I know that on my cube it goes red, white, blue in a clockwise rotation. Um, however, yours might be different colours, um, especially since this came in kit form and I had to put the stickers on myself. So, you need to find a corner that um, lets you know exactly what colours go where. So, obviously here I've got the red, white and blue corner which goes red, white, blue in a clockwise direction. And so I know that the faces will go that way as well. So that's where I always start from. Um, I've actually got kind of lucky here, so I'm going to scramble it up a bit more because um, the piece has got a bit too easy on the centre there. Um, the, basically the red and blue centres were already solved for me. So what you're looking for, so what I do is I, I start from the red face. Obviously I've got the white at the top and make sure I've got a red centre on the lower half of the, the centre portion that we're solving at the moment. And then I know that this one needs to be blue. So I find a blue um, in the top layer. If I haven't got one in the, this top layer, I put one there. Turn it to the face where it needs to be and just rotate it 180 degrees. That gives me the red and blue. I know that orange goes opposite the red. So we find an orange in the top layer, which is there. Rotate it 180 degrees again. So we've now got a red, a blue and an orange. And we need a green there. We've got one there. So again, just put it in place. In that essentially gives us our cross on the lower layer of this centre portion that we're solving. Uh, we then move on to doing the corner pieces. Um, now I saw as I put it in I've, this one's already solved so we look on top layer see what we've actually got first. Um, now we've got a green and red here I've got a green and red piece here and that goes in there. What you need to look for because obviously that you've got two of each piece um, one of them, only one of them actually goes in this spot. What you need is um, the opposite colours on the piece you're putting in. So while it's on the green face, you've got the red sticker showing, and the part of it that's on the red face has got the green sticker showing, and that's correct. You need those colours opposite for it to be the right piece. So then we do our normal um, domino algorithm for putting corner pieces in from top layer to bottom. Uh, once again, I'll just say R when I'm turning this plate because it can only it can only turn 180 degrees, 180 degrees. So I don't bother saying 2 R because it's obvious that when I say R, it means that you've got to turn it to the next possible location. So yeah, do our normal move. So it's R, U, R, U prime, R, and that green green red is now in position. So we will move on to the next one. We've got red and blue here. Um, see if we can find that in that top layer there we are and, and again the colours are opposite so we've got the blue sticker showing on the red face and the red sticker showing on the blue face so the same algorithm again R U R U prime R and that one's in place and lastly on this layer we want the blue and orange um, there's a blue and orange there but it's the wrong piece because it's got the same colour showing on the side so we want the other blue and orange which is there the colours are opposite so the same algorithm again and that's it that's the that bottom layer of what we're solving completed 
and we now move on to the top layer and solve it in exactly the same way as we would a domino so we look for headlights first we haven't got any so we just do the talk the corner swap algorithm on any piece we like so it's R U R U prime R U prime D R U prime R U R and we should now have headlight there we go I was getting a bit concerned there for a second we've got the orange now notice when I say U um, I'm splitting it in the centre um, I'm not doing an actual U-turn I'm splitting it in the centre so it's basically the, the U layer of the domino we're solving at the moment so yeah we've got headlights here that's what you're looking for um, when you get to this top layer if you find you don't have these headlights then as I just did you do the corner swap algorithm what it does is it swaps these two right hand side upper pieces um, and once you've got the headlights you turn them to the left hand side like this so you have those on the left hand face and then you do the corner the corner swap algorithm again which swaps these two right hand piece corners right hand slice corners should I say so yeah we do the same again R U R U prime R U prime D R U prime R U R and you should find that all your corners are now solved okay so the next thing we need to do is to solve the centers on this layer um, we've got a good example here actually that's um, about as complicated as it ever gets so that's good um, first of all what I like to do is to solve any that can swap to opposite sides um, it doesn't look like we've got any that will go opposite at the moment no on this one so what we will do is do a, an adjacent edge swap I'll swap them which will put the blue in position here and the red will come over here so the algorithm for this if you you should already know this if you watch the domino tutorial but this is how it goes it's R U R U R U2 R U2 R U R U prime R so as you can see the blue is coming to position here and we've got the red there now we can do an opposite swap with the red which will put that one into place and solve it so the opposite edge swap is R U2 R U2 R U2 and that's got our red, red one in place and now all we need to do is an, an adjacent edge swap on the orange and green here to finish the last two off so once again that's R U R U R U2 R U2 R U R U prime R and that's it that's got that center section solved for us um, we'll now move on to doing the top and bottom faces just need to go over one quick concept if you haven't seen this before it's the idea of having a workspace because what's going to happen as you swap pieces um, you're going to mess up these bits you've already solved so what you need to do is when you're turning it only ever turn this face when you do a vertical turn um, that way you're not messing up anything else and the next piece you put into place will will so we'll solve it so the first one messes it up and the next one fixes it again um, I'll, I'll show you more of what I mean by that as we go through the solve so first of all what we do is we want our cross on the bottom we've only got one yellow piece there at the moment so I'll put that so it corresponds into the correct position and then we'll look for the green piece which is there so we swap that to the bottom and then we'll put the red piece in so turn the, the bottom layer so that what will be the red side is on the right hand side so it's on our working space find the yellow and red piece on the top and twist it 180 degrees to put that into position and turn the bottom again so we've now got these three pieces in place so we just need the yellow and blue which is already above where it needs to go so just turn that to the bottom and that's got our cross done now notice that as we finish this piece is aligned incorrectly so but as we put these corners on it will get solved again as long as we keep that here and keep that out of our working space 
So let's see which yellow corners we've got on the top. We've got the green and the red and orange blue. So the orange blue is this back corner here, because obviously remember that will be the other way around when it comes when it's in the correct position. So we turn that so it's below, turn this one so it's at the, the front corner, and do our normal corners, swapping out with them uh, the top to bottom corner swap. So R, U, R, U prime, R. Turn it back so it's in the correct place, and you can see that one's solved. So see what else we've got at the top. We've got the red, yellow and green. Now we don't need to worry about keeping the workspace there at the moment because everything's solved so we can turn it how we like. So red and green goes there. So turn it to the position above where it needs to go. And then we do the same again. R, U, R, U prime, R. That's in the correct position. What we've got now, we've got red, uh, green and orange at the top, which is this corner here. So we turn that piece into our workspace. The yellow, green and orange is already there, so we do the same corner location algorithm again. So it's R, U, R, U prime, R. And turn the bottom so that it's lined up where it's supposed to be. And as you can see, we've just got the one piece left, which is this one here, the red, yellow and blue. Uh, put it above where it needs to go, and then one more time, R, U, R, U prime, R. And that leaves us with our top layer to do, and then we're finished. So let's see, first of all, we haven't got headlights, we haven't got the two pieces on the corners, um, the same colour on any piece whatsoever. So we just do our top layer corner swap algorithm in any position we like. So remember it's R, U, R, U prime, R, U prime, D, R, U prime, R, U, R. And that should give us headlights now on the top layer. As you can see we've now got two reds next to each other. We put those on the left hand side, making sure we keep our workspace um, for this. This doesn't actually swap the two pieces back because we're actually doing six turns of this side in total for the algorithm. So it doesn't, it actually always comes back to the position it starts in on the corner swap algorithm. Might as well put this bottom layer in position actually. And yeah, we do our corner swap algorithm again, remembering again to keep the headlights on the left hand side and do the corner swap algorithm. So it's R U R U prime R U prime D R U prime R U R. Put the bottom back into position and as you can see we've now got all our corners solved. They're all in pairs, so we put that into position there. Now let's have a look at our edges, see what we've got. Now, I can see it's actually worked out again that we can't do any opposite edge swaps to solve anything, so we'll do a similar strategy as we did with the top layer that on the first part of the solve. We'll do an edge, I'll do an adjacent edge swap with the green and orange here, that will put the green into position. Remember to keep your workspace here, so you have one piece at the front, one piece on the right hand side in your workspace, and you do the uh, adjacent edge swap algorithm. R, U, R, U, R, U2, R, U2, R, U, R, U prime, R. As you can see, that's fixed this um, Error that we had on the right hand side here in our working space and it's put the green into position so we'll turn that to where it needs to go and now we can do an opposite swap with the orange and blue to put the orange into position so remember that's R U2 R U2 R U2 and that leaves us with a edge swap here uh, an adjacent edge swap so we'll do that right now which is the same thing as we've been doing before, which is R, U, R, U, R, U2, R, U2, R, U, R, U prime, R. And that's it, that's the puzzle solved. And one final situation you'll come across quite regularly with the 3x3x4 is this. You've only got one edge swap left to do, but the workspace, as I've been calling it, is all solved. So once you've done the, what I've got left here is an opposite, opposite edge swap. So I'll just do that. R, U2, R, U2, R, U2. Now you can see that the rest of the cube is solved, but that's left us with this 
situation here where we've got these two and these two are swapped around this is a parity situation what's actually happened is this side is the opposite way up to what it should be these two centers are the opposite way around to what they should be and that's what caused it but of course because they are identical there's no way to tell them apart while you're solving the puzzle so what you do this is this little al uh, parity algorithm now um, get used to doing this because if you move on to some of the higher order cubes we, you will come across this algorithm on a very regular basis um, you, you'll find with the 3x3x4 three by three by that you probably come into this situation in about 50% of the solves that you do so it's well worth remembering this algorithm what you do you put the two that need to swap on the front face so you've got the red on the left on the orange on the right the, the two pairs that need to be that are in the wrong position and then you do this you split it in the center and do a 2u and then you do 2r 2f split it in the center again to do 2u and then another 2u with just the top layer 2u and again it's f 2r and 2u and that solves it so let's just show you that one more time so it's splitting in the center 2u 2r 2f splitting in the center 2u and just the top layer 2u 2f 2r 2u and that's put the situation back in again so one last time i'll do it one more time to show you so it's splitting in the center layer in the center of the two pieces that are in the wrong position so it's 2u then it's 2r 2f 2u 2u 2f 2r 2u and that's it solved so yeah that's the 3x3x4 hopefully everything was clear in that video um, if you do have any questions after watching it please leave a uh, comment I do read them all I will answer you as soon as I can and please look out for more tutorials on their way um, please click like please click subscribe if you do like my videos and then you'll be notified of any new ones as they are made take care guys and i'll see you next time bye